Hello, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. As you can see, these doors are in very, very bad condition. Can't be used for anything else. So I'm going to try and turn them into some large storage boxes. So I've got quite a few of these doors that were left out in the rain and have been eaten by termites. So I'm going to be chopping them up. So I'm using 90 centimeters by 44 centimeters. We need two pieces and two pieces of 50 centimeters by 44 centimeters and two pieces of 47 centimeters by 44. And then for the lid, it's 89 and a half centimeters by 51 centimeters because as you can see with doors they are vacant on the sides or vacant on the inside so what we're going to do is we're going to put a panel across it to close it up so that's what the size of the pieces of wood that we're going to be using and for the base of the box it's 82 centimeters by 46 and a half i've separated the wood from the cardboard that is inside it and all the edges where your saw has cut it leaves a bit of a rough edge so just take a file and file it so it's nice and smooth once you've smoothed all the edges i've just put a coat of black paint on this i'm using black ace so i painted all five pieces plus all the corner pieces and the other thing that i've done is i've cut out of some palings that i had left um, one centimeter by one centimeter pieces of wood which I'm going to be placing on for my design. I've got the small pieces of wood at 45 degree angle that are going to be going onto the front so it'll create a little frame like that because I'm going to be working with some shelves and I need them protected if people walk past. So the distance is the 60 centimeters at 45 and the smaller one is 37 centimeters from the sharpest point the outside edge for the small pieces that are going to be going onto the front i've taken two tape measures and i've taped them to the table because i'm going for a very very simple design so all you have to do is line the two tape measures up and you're measuring one centimeter in and then what you do is you draw a line from one centimeter from that one to at an angle down to one centimetre on the other side. So just doing that. one centimetre gradients like that. When you get to the end, I'm just squaring it off and painting this top part gold. Now once you've completed that, you do it in the opposite direction. So you get a little cross pattern like that. So now what you're doing is you're lining the top one to the bottom one, missing the middle one. So that will be the next one. So it just keeps going from there and so on to create your pattern. Once the paint is dry, I'm taking some titanium white and I'm just going to be putting little crosses in the middle to make it look like little flowers so so I'm making a small little case so I've got just a tech a big marker and I'm just going to be wrapping that around to make this circle. Once it gets to the center I'm just going to bend it upwards so that I've got a circle. Move it forward, bend it again so that you've got a circle like that to work with. Made a little holder so I can hold it pattern around the side I'm making it one centimetre in from the edge and I'm just going to use this 
rather large ruler and line it up. So now with your little piece of wire just dip it into the paint coat it nicely and then put it I put them right on top of each other well, touching so just put your little wire down and you've got your little circle then I'm going to just go all the way around on all of the pieces because I'm using an old door that was left out in the water it's got a bit of a watermark on it as you can see just going along all the way like that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to camouflage it a little bit and make it into a mountain so that's what the water mark looks like and just a cloud very plain very simple and the small strips now I've painted a half a centimeter of gold just on the bottom of them then I'm going to be putting the little circles on all four of them all the pieces are dry now so what I'm doing is I'm marking out exactly how far it comes in from a distance and then I'm going to paint the center piece of the front panel so from the side to there is 16 centimeters and 3 centimeters from the top to the center so from there to there Because this piece is made out of old doors, I have to work with what I've got. And because of the watermark, I've had to go with mountains. So the pictures are not going to be as nice as what I would like them to have been. But that's what it is. Unfortunately, because of the watermark, the mountain is a lot closer than I would like it to have been. Because I've got all that distance at the top but I've had to put the mountain right down at the bottom. To paint the tree trunk, I'm going to be using a number 8 flat brush. So to paint all the blossoms in gold and the white, I've used a number 2 flat brush. So now I'm taking some titanium white and I'm just going to be putting little lines in the centre of all the little flowers. So the lid is complete now. Just giving you a quick look. So for the front panel I'm going with the th same theme of the mountain and a cloud but I'm not going to be doing the video of how to do the shells because it will make the video too long. So my front is complete, I've put all the shells on, it's got the cloud and the mountains and I've glued the side pieces. So that's the front panel. 
The next thing I'm going to do is I've got this small piece of EVA foam which is taken from a yoga mat and what you're going to do is you're going to cut it um, measuring it from uh, it's 12 centimeters across and 12 centimeters down so you're going to be cutting it into two or six centimeters each so you've got four squares then you're going to cut just one piece out of it and leave the other three intact so on all through all four of them you cut out just one piece then on all the other three I'm going to be scoring a design into to that and so that's pretty much the little design that I'm going to be scoring into it so we'll be putting one on that side one on that side and one on that side and on the one side I'm going to be cutting it out in that shape so I've scored all the little designs into my little pieces I actually used a hot knife to do these now that your pieces are dry we're going to take a small sponge and some gold paint and we're going to just dab it on there. Better not get too much paint on because we're trying to make a weathered effect. And that's what it looks like when they're done. Now all you have to do is the rest of them. Don't forget to do the side pieces as well. So now that your pieces are dry we're going to cut out the blue part. Put your scissors at an angle and you cut it'll give you a 45 degree angle so that when we put them together they lie flush so then they'll lie like that now on the back of them just over here and over here I'm going to use a hot knife and I'm going to make a groove in there so that when they bend they've got something to bend into and then don't forget to paint this small section as well so as you can see I've grooved them all out with the hot knife so when they close up they're like that now all you want to do is going to glue them together so they're flat I've taken some of the offcuts from the bottom of the doors which I've just cut into five centimeters which I'm going to be using for the feet then you're going to need some spare pieces of wood <coughs> which are two cent two and a half centimeters wide because at the bottom of your panels from your doors you can't attach your foot in here so what I'm doing is I'm taking a piece of wood and going to glue it in and nail it in there and then screw the foot on like that so from the side you've got a nice clean foot so for the base because I've only used um, the side and the bottom that has actually got the pieces of wood in it from the door frame I've had to put a little piece of wood in there and on the other side and anywhere that I need to attach it even on the small ones this side and the side panels you need to just put a small piece of wood in so that you can nail it. Now I'm going to assemble the whole box. I'm attaching all the small side pieces for the lid and then we'll put the lid on. I'm attaching the lid now and I'm attaching it by using bondcrete and nails. The lid is attached now. Now we're going to add our small cups that go on the corner and just going to be gluing those down with hot glue. So the box is complete now. So on the sides you'll notice that you've got the one vacant piece it was talking about. This is where that extra panel that you've cut out comes in and then it'll just colour the whole piece. One side panel is on now. 
I'm just taking some black paint now and covering up where the nails are. I've bought these small little handles. Unfortunately, they're the biggest ones that they had, but they're just a wee bit small, but they'll just have to do. So now I'm just finishing off by painting the top of the wood pieces that we've used. So all the old doors all in place. And now I'm just painting them all black. I'm just going to take my little rotary tool now and I'm just going to cut out the recess for the hinge and then I'm going to chisel it all out. If you cut little 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 strips in it, it makes it a lot easier to chisel out. I've put the hinges on now and I've painted the inside of it all black so it's just about completed. My box is complete now. Just giving you a last look at what it looks like. So that's the front panel and then we've got all the little corners put on. the top of it with the cherry blossom and moving on to the side I put the, the small handles on it match all the colours and the back is just black if you found this video helpful or you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up really appreciate it if you would subscribe Thank you so much for watching.